So we have Spartan here today. I get on the wing. Got it. Look, that's a release. And you should pick that up because that's good. That's a nice relaxing release. Release and a big poop. You tried to poop on me, didn't you? I just made a new online course called How to Massage Your Own Dog. So we have Spartan here today. This is Carolyn, she's helping me. And you're a volunteer here, right? Yes. Yeah, and how long yes. have you been helping out here? I've been here since it started, it's seven years. Yeah, and you're a real horse person. Very much so. Yeah, <laughs> well, great, and who are you? So this is Spartan. And what do we know about Spartan? Standard bred. 14 years old. 14 years old. Okay, so he was a workhorse. Uh, and then how did you guys get him? Um, from, he was kill pen bound. So he was, so and I'm repeating because I'm on the microphone. Okay. So he was kill pen bound. Um, and how long ago did you get him to come here? Back in February. February, and here we are at Bergen County Horse Rescue, about an hour from where I live. So this is awesome for me. And, um, and what are some of the things that people notice uh, with Spartan? Is there any uh, health issues or we're just doing a, a nice checkup today? I think a nice checkup. Like okay. Yeah. Okay, and I'll see, see what shows up, okay? Um, what do you think? Do you think I could work on you today? You want to feel my hand a little bit? All right. So let's walk him once, maybe, and, um, and then bring him back. And we'll, we'll land in the shade. What a coat, right? He's beautiful. And you said he's how many years old approximately? 14. 14. I know you told me and I just forgot. Okay. So what do you think we work together today? Hmm? I'm gonna start real soft up here and just touch your little meridian points on the bladder meridian. Let's start again. Good. Just really soft. I'm trying to get to know him a little bit. Let him feel me, let him feel if he wants me in his space and you know he's stirred up a little as you can see it's a busy day today some people just arrived in the parking lot and he's like who is this guy he's never been here before because I haven't he's never met me and um, so I sometimes have to invest a little time or nothing really gets done. So I have to just see if he'll let me work with him, let him relax a little bit and let him see. If, what do you think? Can we work a little today, Spartan? All right. All right, Spartan. I'm breathing, so he breathes a little bit. Calms down. Okay. Look, right in there. That little line. Put a relaxing line. Just let yourself go. Just relax. I'm watching his eyes blink. More noises from over there. And we're trying to get him to just take it down a notch. 
little more. Okay, let me feel your lip a little bit, okay? All right, and you can just relax your tongue first, okay? You wanna do that first? Yeah, okay, I'm just gonna let you relax your neck and tongue from the hyoid bone. There you go, come back. Don't, don't give up yet, okay? And just relax a little bit, yeah. You know, let me work on you a little bit today. Nice. Good. Good. All right. All right. Let your eyes go soft. There you go. Yeah. Good. That's good. That's good. Just relax. Nice. Okay, I'm up here on your pole. I'm just working and massaging your pole. Let's bring your head down a little bit. What do you think? Yeah. That's good. Good. Let this go. Nice. Okay. Okay. So he's got a superior left atlas. So the gap between the um, angle of the mandible, I've got grass all over my fingers, but this gap here is tighter on the left than it is on the right. The right, I can get two fingers to settle in there. And on the left, I hardly can do it. So I'm gonna push that atlas back down. And I do it this way. Come, come to me, baby. And I get on the wing. Got it. And it cracked a little bit. And he's licking, do you see? That was a good one. And you notice how his eyes just got droopy a little bit, right? They got a little soft. Let's see if he wants to see me again. Okay, do you remember me? All right. So let's check that space here now. Look, that's a release. And you should pick that up because that's good. That's a nice <laughs> relaxing release. Okay, it's always good. We just got a big poop to come out. But look, I can get two fingers in here now, flat. Before it was just one, and now I got two. So we push that space open. That should feel good for you. You had a nice little, you had a nice little release and a big poop. You tried to poop on me, didn't you? That's okay, I don't mind if you poop towards me. All right, don't go yet. Oh, right in the poop. All right, I'm gonna just put my hand here just shake out your neck. All right. Now I'm going to come down the neck. You got a little one here too. Do you feel that one? So I'm going to do this one too. Okay. I'm going to laterally flex. Watch the poop. That was stronger than you think. I just jammed my wrist a little bit. Um, Luckily, I know how to fix it. Yeah. Okay. That was your second big spot. He gets a little anxious because jerseys. They're, they're a little bonded. All right. So that feels nice now. Okay. What do you think of that? Good. So let's come down and see what I missed. Nice. Feeling your shoulders, your chest. Good. I'm going to come around the back, okay? Don't come around the back, big guy. And here I am.
Okay. There you go. You see me here? Just want to do a little bit of a reflex back here. There you go. Let's do it again. Good, nice motion. Okay. Good. Good. You see him come up, the butt tuck. I'm just getting him to activate muscles, rectus abdominis, pulling up on the spine, the longissimus muscles. All right, I know I'm stimulating a little bit, but I want to. All right, so bring him around this way again. I'm trying to get him a little activated. tight in here. Stay there. I'm going to walk really far behind so I can see his hips. He doesn't have an ilium issue, but he's, his lumbar is out. So I'm going to have you um, just have him face those guys. Face the goats and the pigs. And I'll move close if he lets me. He might not let me. But if force comes to worst, John, we'll use the mounting thing. Okay, so I'm up here at, he's got, his L6 is tilted. Actually, it's spinous right. So I'm gonna set up on the left mammillary process of L6, which is a high point on him in this misalignment or subluxation, we call it. And I'm gonna get my hand right there. Yeah. So she said he's he just released a lot. He's falling asleep a little bit, you know, or getting sleepy. Yeah. Watch his blinking. His eyes are getting a little droopy. So have the camera up there with him. You okay. All right. I just want to. Get you going a little bit. Okay. Hmm. All right. Thanks for letting me work with you today. So I just got that big old L6, okay? It was tilted, actually. So it was posterior and tilted. Yeah. So would that be a common spot for horses yeah. that have pulled the carriage? Yeah, yeah, definitely the rear end. That's where all the power is. And that's where we would get it. Think about it. Like if you're a weightlifter and you're deadlifting, it's oh. the fifth lumbar. They have six. Um, most horses have 18 thoracics. We have 12. We, we all have seven, except if you're a manatee or a sloth. Yeah. But all the mammals have seven, even giraffes in the neck. So seven, 18, six. Dogs are seven, 13, seven. Cats are seven, 13, seven. Humans are seven, 12, five. Pigs have 15 typically really? in the thoracics. Uh, goats, what do goats have? 15, I think 15 in here. I forget sometimes. Um, but he softened up, his top line softened. He looks like, like, doesn't he? Carolyn, what do you think? He's all mushy now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So we're gonna finish there. Thank you for letting me work on you. Spartan. Okay. Thank you. All right. Good stuff. Thanks, everybody. Leave Spartan a comment. He reads all his comments. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Look, that's a release. Relax. And you should pick that up because that's good. That's a nice, <laughs> relaxing release. Okay. It's always good. 
We just got a big poop to come out.